Back at the Birmingham Zoo in the Reptile Building today for a visit with the Cottonmouth, but really a visit with Adrian, who is an expert on uh, these types of animals. Tell us, Adrian, where are we finding our friend today and what is he doing? Uh, so this is our cottonmouth here. Our cottonmouths are uh, aquatic venomous snakes. They're the more aquatic venomous snake that we have. Um, in Alabama, we have uh, six venomous snakes in total. Uh -huh. um, this guy right now, you can see he's blue at the moment, so that means he's going into his shed cycle. Um, and so her, their eyes turn blue as the shed is detaching um, from the rest of his body. How often do they shed? So it depends entirely upon the age and the size of the snake. Okay. Uh, so if you have a baby snake, they're going to be shedding more often because they shed as they grow. And now, uh, a lot of people see a cottonmouth, even on paper, they know, oh, that's a bad snake. And it is native to Alabama, so a lot of people here are familiar with it. I know people at the zoo are always very quick to say, now, it's not a bad snake. There are no bad snakes. Tell us, tell us about that notion. There are no bad snakes. There are absolutely no bad snakes. Every animal serves a purpose in its ecosystem. Um, these guys eat quite a few fish um, and frogs in the wild. Um, they are a predator in the ecosystem, and to take any sort of animal predator out of the ecosystem can start destabilizing ecosystem itself. You could have more of an overabundance of yep. amphibians if and these guys aren't eating them. These handy little uh, placards here in the reptile building show you that they're native to Alabama and much of the southeast and the Midwest even. Uh, are these are only found in certain regions? I see there's a cutout. It's like it's not native to Atlanta, Georgia, for example. What determines where these guys go? Um, so it depends quite a bit on the habitat itself. These guys are going to be found more towards lakes, rivers, streams, mm -hmm. um, so in areas of the states that are a little bit more aquatic, whereas our native copperhead is going to be found more towards a little bit of a more forested area. Gotcha. Okay, interesting. Well, folks are pretty familiar with the cottonmouth if you live here, but the, the reminder from Adrian at the Birmingham Zoo, there are no bad snakes, so cut them, a, cut them some slack, right? Is that the message? I think Absolutely. so. Absolutely. There we go. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for showing us the cottonmouth here and the reptile building plenty to see as you can see so come on out to the birmingham zoo and enjoy it for yourself plenty to see here on a beautiful fall morning and we'll be right back here on the cbs 42 morning news